Hello, good morning friends. Happy Easter. So today, let's start off by singing our good morning song. Good morning friends, good morning friends, good morning friends, I'm glad you're watching today. Hello, Miss Heather here. Okay, so today, since it is Easter, we are going to be reading an Easter book. But since the libraries are closed, I didn't get to go pick one out that I wanted, but I did find one of my son's books. And this one is called The Night Before Easter. And it's by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Kathy Curry. But before I read this book, let's say our words that we say at church every week. Are you ready? We have open minds, loving hearts, and helping hands. Good job for remembering. Okay, let's get started with our story today. The Night Before Easter. Twas the night before Easter, just before dawn, not a creature was stirring out on the lawn. Our baskets were set on the table with care in hopes that the Easter bunny soon would be there. Sister and I were tucked snug in our beds while visions of jelly beans danced in our heads. Then out of the barn, the hens made such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When what to my curious eyes should appear but a big fuzzy rabbit with a crook in his ear. Here's the rabbit. He walked on two legs, which I thought was quite funny. No rabbit could do that except the Easter Bunny. He sniffed at pansies, a tulip, a rose, jumped over a shovel, a rake, and a hose. Then up to our house in just a few hops, he came bearing chocolates and striped lollipops. As I sat on the stairs, not making a sound, that swift, dapper bunny sprang in with a bound. His soft fur was spotless from his head to his toe. His vest was all checkered, his tie in a bow. His eyes, how they sparkled, his whiskers, how merry. His tail was like cotton, his nose was like a berry. He made not a sound, but went straight to his treasure, filled up our baskets, adding more for good measure. Chocolates and chicks and candy galore spilled from our baskets and onto the floor. And just when I thought that bunny was done, he picked out some eggs looking over each one.
He carefully hid them on couches and chairs, the mantel, the bookshelf, and under the stairs. When our rooster crowed, he turned with a start. He wiggled his nose, then went to his cart. He sprang from the house with a single bound and bounded down the street without making a sound. I read his note as he hop hopped away. Happy Easter to all and to all a great day. Such a great book. I hope all of you have an amazing Easter Sunday. Also, if you're at home and want to do a really fun Easter craft, I found something really neat that you could do with a few simple things you might find around the house. Here, I made a little Easter bunny Easter plate. So all this is, is a paper plate, some paper, and I used pipe cleaners for the whiskers and a pom-pom ball for the nose. And you could use glue or tape to stick it on or have your parents help you with a stapler. But you can also find stuff like string maybe to use or even just make the face with markers if you don't have stuff around the house or even a button for the nose. I bet you can make some really cool Easter bunnies at your house. You guys have an amazing Easter. I miss you all so much. Bye.